Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this is our 10th class, and today we're mainly going to be doing some review. And uh, wow, Gordon, I see you're holding up a picture. Is that, oh, is that a snowman? Here, you can unmute and, and talk, talk about it if you want. Yes. <laughs> it's a snowman? Yeah, his name is uh candy cane that's cool candy cane and he's rich wow he's richer he's so rich and he's a superhero superhero what does he do yeah. uh he's he is strong he he is fast Here's okay. Buster the Cheetah and a okay. Bingo. He, okay. He can lift up my whole house. Okay. He can, he can fly. He can fly to space. He can breathe in space. He can breathe in underwater for so many years. He doesn't get old. He doesn't die. He's a superhero. That's what he does. That's cool. What about you, Samuel? Oh, wow, Sophia has one too. He's had, ha, he has so many moves. Yeah. 140, 500, 100. Okay, um, let us start with the Kahoot. Oh, this... okay. I, it's been like a long day and my Kahoot just, just no, I'm gonna put my snowman right there so I can run. Um, guys, can you help me spell kahoo.it? No. K A K A H. K A H O O T. Okay. Dot I T. Yeah, dot I T. And then the code is up there 136 Oh yeah, the code. So is the pit. Uh, uh, I, I do. Okay. Oh no, I'm not video game. A. T T was T T Okay, now I have to log in the game pin. Yeah. One three six. Okay. One, three, six, three, five. One, three, six. Hey, three, nice job, Mason. Five. Oh, one. Wait, is it the space? Oh, one. Uh, no, no, zero, one. Oh, and the, there's no space. Did you, did you get in? Uh, no, no, no. Just a sec, I, I'll get in. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to try again. Okay, uh, one, three, six. I know, and five, three. No, 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 three, five, oh, one, uh, or zero, one, three, five, zero, one. Uh, three, five, zero, one. Not, not zero, one, 
So it's O one. Zero one. Okay, it's one three six three five zero one. Three five. Oh, I just put a five on it. It's still the same. No. What does it say? One three six five. No space. Five three zero one. Oh, Samuel, it's three five, not five three. Oh, uh -huh. three five. <clears throat> Three, five, zero, one. Nickname. There we go. Okay, Sophia, are you joining? I'm trying to join. S A M U E R. I'm finding this. I can see my nickname. Yay, okay, you got it. Wait, sorry, Sophia, did you say you were gonna join or? I didn't say I'm gonna join. Oh, okay. Okay, then uh, we'll just start. Okay, best of luck. One for real. Three, two, one. Oh, no. This one's a tricky question. You can count. You can count starting from zero. How many numbers? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many what? numbers is that? How many? This one's a tricky question. Oh, dog. No. Oh. What is okay. the right one? What is the right one? Okay. Uh, Nice try. Um, the question isn't asking, are these numbers from zero to 10? Because um, if they are, or even if it is, um, the answer would still not be all of these because 11 is after 10. Um, but this is a tricky question because if you count from zero to 10, you'll find out there's actually 11 numbers, um, which is kind of weird because it stops at 10. But we have to include zero, so there's going to be 11 numbers in total. So the answer is 11. Which of these are in order? Which of these are in the right order? Wait, no. Nice job. What number is <laughs> What? Nice job. I look so nervous. <laughs> okay. Job. Hey, Mason. Six. Six plus one. I. Okay, that just. I thought it was. It's a ten fact. What? Okay. Uh, sorry. What was it? Oh, it was um. The answer was nine. So, um. Well, I just did seven. I oh. That's easy. Well, okay, Gordon. So if you count from six and you, because uh, one way we can do addition problems like these is we can um, count, uh, I guess, 
just with our fingers, in our heads, whatever you want to use. Okay. Um, say if I want to count with my fingers, then I would start from six and then I would go seven, eight, nine. So then I would move uh, or the number would change three times or would go up by three, um, which is what addition is. And you are going to get nine. So uh, good job, Mason. Is, what's three plus nine? Easy. Ah, yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> we turn to the next one. I, I think it's false or true. Sound true, 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 true. Yeah. Okay, we should be yeah on to subtraction next. <clears throat> What is uh, who is my? Oh, I'm so excited. Nice. I already know that. What? Fifteen minus nine. First, I need to count. So fifteen minus one. Yay! Nice job. I have more than than anyone to know. What? I found a boss. Okay. Yay. Very yeah. fast. Okay. Um, this might be a bit tricky, but ordinal numbers um, I put in brackets are first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Um, they are the numbers you would use um, to show what people got in a race, for example. So what is that? So it's, oh. Yeah, so the answer would be the position or the location. Because if you're first, well, that means um, you were, well, in the very front, you were the first one um, to finish the race, for example. Um, and yeah, ordinal numbers, I feel like is something we should uh, go back to. Um, but basically, ordinal numbers are not the same as just regular numbers, um, because regular numbers show how many, and uh, ordinal numbers show the position. Quiz. And this is in terms of ordinal number. So what comes after? Oh, oh, wait. oh okay. I'm sorry, yeah. I tried to go out my Zoom and then you just make me press another one. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, good job, Mason. I can't even tell. That's a good one. Nice job. I'm trying to count. Truth. Okay. Truth. Yeah. Is seven? Ooh. Let, let's let's not shout out the answer. But yeah, the answer is true. Uh, after, sorry if um you didn't really answer or if you didn't really understand the the question, but basically. It's saying is 17 after 16, uh, which is true. Yeah. I'm just catching up. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> nice job. That was very fast. Yeah, I was not. What shape is this? What is it? Nice. Hey, just a few more. What's what's that? Oh, just a few more uh, questions. I don't know which one is it. Okay. <clears throat> what? Um, maybe the last four questions are going to be a bit difficult. Um, because only a few people were there oh! for that class. Oh, yeah. oh. Great job, uh, whoever got that. 
Um, basically, no. units. Oh, <laughs> nice job. So, uh, units um, is something we can use to measure something called length, which is how long or how wide something is. And so, um, this is saying there are two tables. The white table is 10 units and the red one is 16 units. So because the red one is 16 units, that means it's longer because there's more of the units. And um, so the question is asking which one is shorter. So um, since the red one is longer, that means the white one is shorter. So the answer is the white table. I'm getting... <clears throat> What are these? Which is there? Rocket or a, a dog? I don't know. Oh, wait, there's a typo. But uh, yeah, which one is taller? A rocket or a dog? <gasps> Ratings. Yes. Nice job. Okay. I have to say ratings because, <laughs> because I don't want to tell the, the answer. What do you put on a what? Okay, two erasers are put on a scale or a balance, whatever you want to call it. And if the balance tilts to the left, which side is heavier? Oh, I want to choose. Yes. Ooh, nice job. Okay. Um, so basically, a scale or a balance is something we use to measure weight. Um, and so how it works is, uh, I'll, uh, I'll draw something really simple. Um, so you might have something like this. Oh, uh, no, this is not good. Okay, uh, you might have something like this. Okay. And then um, on each side, you might put something. Um, so in this problem, we have two erasers. So uh, I'll just draw a rectangle and say that it's an eraser. But basically, um, how a scale works is if something is heavier, the scale is going to tilt to that side. So if you have, uh, let's say the eraser that's on the left is uh, heavier, because that's the answer to this problem. Then the, the scale would look more scale would look more like this, which works very similar to a seesaw. Yeah. So um, the one that is lighter will go up, the one that is heavier will um, go down. So the scale would then tilt to this direction, which is left. Okay. Again, um, the last four questions are going to be more difficult, um, but we can go back to those units after. Okay, last question. What? I don't know. What okay, a blue pillow weighs six units. A green pillow weighs three units. The blue pillow is lighter. Is that true or false? True or false? It's definitely false, I think. Yay! Nice. Okay, so um, just like the, the other weight problem, um, we have units instead, but um, this is these are both dealing with weight. So um, we have a blue pillow that weighs six units, and then a green pillow that weighs three units. Okay, since six is bigger than three we know that the blue pillow weighs more units, um, thus weighs more or is heavier. Um, this means the green pillow is lighter. So um, the sentence says the blue pillow is lighter, which is not true because the blue pillow is heavier. So um, the answer is false. So nice job. What does that say? Um, Oh yeah, there, there are only two people, so place. there's no. I'm second place. Nice job. Okay.
Um, that is it for our uh, weekly Kahoot, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Um, but now, um, does anyone have any unit that they want to go back to? Um, if there no. aren't any, I'll just automatically go to weight and length because that is something um, a lot of us miss out on. Yeah, Gordon? Uh, the two, the two weeks and The what? I don't know. That uh, I just missed. The two classes in math class that I just missed. Um, then it should be the length and the weight, if I recall. Um, but yeah, no, okay. Sorry? I know that my teacher knows me that. Oh, okay. Um, then I think, because um, I think those are the classes you missed. Um, I don't really remember what other class you missed. Um, How about the second one? Number uh, bonds? Yeah. Uh, oh, that one is just, um, I don't know if you remember. Um, it was us making stories about um, pictures and um, us finding number pairs. So um, like the, I think the third question, it was uh, what number pairs make up five? Um, and the answer was four and one. So that was another thing that we learned in the second class. Already. Okay, then, then yeah, I don't, then yeah, you sh I think you missed the last two classes. Well, I know them already. Okay, that's fine. Um, but we're just going to go over them because uh, other people also missed it. So, okay. No. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, this was what we learned uh, two classes ago, and it was about length. So basically what length is, is how long or how wide something is. And so if you look at the picture here, it says I'm longer than Miss Caterpillar. Um, and uh, here the Caterpillar says I'm shorter than Mr. Snake, which is true because if you look, the snake is uh, way longer than um, this Caterpillar over here. And you also notice that this ant over here is unfortunately the shortest. Okay. Um, so who is the longest? Uh, it would be Mr. Snake. And the shortest would be this ant over here, okay? And another way uh, we can use uh, or to describe length is height, something called height, which is how tall something is. So not only can we say something is long and something is short, we can also say something is tall and something is short. So um, just so you understand, Longer, the words longer and shorter are describe, uh, describing length uh, like this from left to right, okay? Um, that's how you can, that's how you see um, uh, Mr. Snake, uh, who is very long and um, the caterpillar, which is really short. Um, but if we look at these animals, um, we're talking about height, which is um, up and down or halt how tall or short something is, uh, which is completely different, but it all has to do with length. Um, okay, so um, we can see here, we can see here that we have a giraffe, uh, an elephant, and um, an ape or a monkey. So uh, you can see the giraffe says, I'm taller, I'm taller than Mr. Elephant. The elephant says, I'm shorter than Miss Giraffe, which is true because you can see um, the elephant only reaches her, uh, yeah, her neck, and um, the giraffe is way taller. And the same, same for the ape. The ape is shorter than the giraffe, but also the elephant. So who is the tallest? That would be the giraffe. Who is the shortest? Um, that would be uh, this ape or this monkey. Okay, so who would like to try this problem?
Okay, Gordon, go ahead. What does it say? Which is the longest string? Yeah. Which is the shortest string? Mm -hmm. The longest is the green one, and the sh shortest is the yellow one. And yep, that is correct. Nice job. Okay, and can I get someone else uh, to do this problem? Yeah, Samuel, go ahead. Uh, the green block is tall, the tallest. I think the yellow block is the shortest. Okay, uh, yeah, the yellow one is the shortest, but take a look at some of the other blocks because the green one is not the tallest. Oh, the blue block. Yeah, the blue one, nice job, okay. This one is a bit more tricky, um, but I will guide you through the first part of it. So um, to determine which one is the longest path, well, you would just count um, how many tiles is what we call, or how many of these sides of these uh, squares it takes. So how we count it is we just count each of these sides as one. So then we, we, uh, yeah, we'll get one, two for this one, three for this one, four, five, six, six for this one, seven for this one, eight uh, for this one, and finally nine, okay? So that's how we determine the length of, uh, these paths. Um, and so for A, we know it took nine tiles, okay? And so, of course, we would count all the other tiles for B and C and uh, see which one's the longest. So who would like to uh, try? Um, okay, Gordon, tell me how many tiles or how long is path B, the red path right here? Yeah. How long is path B? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Ooh, not quite. One, one, two, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it eight? Yeah. So for the red path, you know it took eight tiles. Um, so I'll just write eight for here. Um, and can I get someone else uh, for C? Okay, go ahead, Samuel. So how long is path C? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it nine? Uh, close. It's close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 10. Okay, so Samuel, can you tell me which one took the longest path and which one took the shortest path? 10 is the longest path and the 8 is the shortest path. Okay, yeah, so the answer would be C and B. Okay, nice job. Okay. Uh, which tape is the longest and which tape is the shortest? Well, this one is a bit tricky. Um, 
But for the second question, um, that one is pretty easy. Um, the answer is tape Q or the green tape. But if we look at um, the red tape and the yellow tape, um, it honestly depends on what your eye tells you because these two tapes are very, very similar. Um, for me right now, um, I think the yellow tape is longer, but again, it depends on how you see it. Um, and the best way to tell is to actually use a ruler and measure it. But um, for the time being, the answer would be either the yellow or the red one. Um, both would be correct because it's hard to tell, especially because the yellow one is slanted. It's not um, kind of straight like the red one. So we can't really tell. Um, but yeah, uh, the yellow one or the red one, either of those. Okay, now uh, we're gonna get into measuring lengths. lengths. So um, in the Kahoot, um, one of the questions, or I think both of the questions, I'm not sure. One of them, at least one of them, talked about units, uh, which is what we're gonna learn now. So um, units is something we use, again, to measure both length, weight, and just basically a lot of things. And so you can see um, John is using ice cream sticks to measure the length of a table, okay? So the ice cream sticks right here is gonna be his unit or what counts as one unit. So that's why you see him say, each ice cream stick stands for one unit. So if we look, how we measure is we would just lay down ice cream sticks or popsicle sticks like he did here. And he would just put them one by one and see how many popsicle sticks or ice cream sticks he can fit on the table. And um, the answer, if we count all of this, is gonna be 12. So the answer would be 12 units, as in 12 ice cream sticks. So um, what you're gonna realize in a second is that units can be different. And so the answer might not be the same depending on what unit you use. So if I were to use, let's say, um, a pencil, if I use a pencil as one unit or um, uh, uh, something even more extreme, like say um, a meter stick uh, to measure, then you're going to get very, very different answers. Um, and that is because the units are very different. Or a toy car. Sorry? Or a toy car. Yeah. Okay, so um, for this one, we have a book, and Mary is using paper clips instead of ice cream sticks as units to measure the length. So you can see um, the answer is one, two, three, four, five. There are five paper clips, so the answer is five units. Again, um, if we use different units, like say ice cream six, um, the answer is probably gonna be a lot less than five, but it all depends on what unit you use. And this, the same applies for weight. Okay, so can someone answer me uh, 2A? Yeah, Gordon. To make? Sorry? What are you saying to make? Uh, no. So uh, if you look at the chain of 20 paper clips, um, can you tell me what the length is? How many units is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. Okay, nice job. The length of the chain is 20 units. Okay, um, and we can't really do this because we don't have, at least I don't think you have just paper clips lying around. Um, okay, oh, but okay. If I say my hand is about 
three units long and my foot is about five units long. Which one is longer, my, my hand or my foot? Yeah, Gordon. Five. Five, so the foot is longer. Nice job. Okay, so now we're on to weight. Uh, weight is basically the same thing, um, but we're measuring how heavy something is instead of how tall, how short, how long, whatever. Okay, so um, you can see in this picture, the cupboard is heavier than the chair and the chair is lighter than the cupboard because you can see um, this person is um, lifting up the chair perfectly fine, but is having um, some trouble with uh, the clipboard. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you guys know the answer, but take your best guess, which one is the lightest, the computer, the balloon, or the book? Yeah, Gordon. What is named? Uh, this one is a computer. Uh, this one is a balloon, and this one is a book. Which one? What is named? L I G H T E R. Oh, okay. So lightest um means the least weight. The heaviest means the most weight. Okay. Uh, the next thing. The, the blue one is the least, the heaviest is the computer. Oh, wait. Okay, the balloon is the lightest and the computer is the heaviest. Is that what is you that, said? Uh, what? Is that what you said? Is the balloon the lightest yeah. and the... Okay, nice job. And yeah, that is perfectly correct. The balloon is the lightest and the computer is the heaviest. Okay. Yes. So now this is what we call, or this was what I was talking about when uh, I was talking about um, a scale. So um, a, this is what we call a scale or a balance. And basically, again, uh, just to quickly explain it, what it does is you can put things on each side of it and it works like a seesaw. Um, if let's say the ball is heavier, then the scale is gonna tilt this way like a seesaw because um, well, it's heavier on this side and it's lighter on this side, okay? And the same would happen if the mango is heavier, then the scale uh, would, then the scale would tilt this way or towards the left. Okay, but here it says the mango is as heavy as the ball, meaning it has the same weight. Okay, and that's why you see the scale not moving at all and it's staying perfectly flat or perfectly straight. So then we have this situation where the orange is lighter than the ball, okay? And that's why you see um, this, the scale or the balance tilting to the right because the ball is heavier. Okay. The ball, yeah, the orange is lighter than the ball and the ball is heavier than the orange. Uh, yeah, Gordon, do you have a question? No. Oh, oh okay. Okay, so um, A and B. Um, okay, I'll do A as an example. And uh, Gordon, do you want to do B after I do this? Sure. Okay, so for A, we can see that um, the scale is tilting downwards to the left. So we know uh, the ruler is heavier than the pen. Okay, Gordon, go ahead and try, go ahead and try B. Which B? Uh, the ruler is the Hmm. B is long. Sorry? B is long. I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. 
Okay, is the ruler heavier or lighter than the key? Lighter. Lighter. Okay, nice job. So yeah, which weighs more? Uh, the answer is the key. Okay, how many marbles balance uh, the block? Okay, so um, if it says how many marbles balance the block, it means how many marbles does it take so that the scale won't tilt to either side, okay? And if we look at the diagram, you can see that if there's one marble, um, then the uh, block is still heavier because it's tilting towards the block. If it's four marbles, it'd, be, it'd still be heavier. But if we have five marbles, then um, the scale balances itself. So yeah, the answer to the question is five. Five marbles will balance the block. Okay. The clay ball is as heavy as the ruler. Make a clay ball. Okay. Um, okay, we can't really do this because we don't have like Play-Doh or anything just laying around. But um, to make a clay ball heavier than the book, well, we would just make the clay ball bigger. And if we want the clay ball to be lighter, we would make it smaller. Okay, so now we're, okay. So just like length, we can measure weight with units. Um, and so in this example, uh, you can see we have Matthew. Um, and he is using clothes pins to measure the weight of a pair of scissors. So it said, uh, yeah, so Matthew says each clothes pin stands for one unit, okay? And so um, if we count, uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have uh, 10 clothes pins is able to balance um, a pair of scissors. So the answer is, oh, the answer is 10 units. So the weight of the scissors is 10 units because when the balance or when the scale is uh, perfectly flat or when it's balanced, we know the weight is the same on either side. So we can say um, the weight of 10 pins is the same as the weight of a pair of scissors. So the answer would be 10 pins, okay. Then he uses marbles to measure the weight of the same pair of scissors. Okay, and so now instead of using clothespins, we have marbles. So can someone tell me the weight of the scissors is how many units? Yes, Samuel. Uh, uh, 10 units? Ooh, try again. How many marbles are there? Nine units? It's closer, not quite. Eight units. There we go. Okay. Nice job. The weight of the scissors is eight units. Okay. Um Gordon, do you want to do uh, problem number one. Okay, uh, I'll just do the first one. Okay, so box A weighs, um, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, and finally six. So we know the uh, box A weighs six units because there are six tennis balls. I don't think you can call those tennis balls, um, but yeah, we'll call them just balls for now. So uh, box A weighs six units. Box B weighs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight units because there are eight balls there. And box C weighs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. So which one is the heaviest? It would be box B because box B has eight tennis balls or just eight balls. Um, and box A would be the lightest because it has six balls and uh, box C has seven. Okay, fill out how many marbles balance your pencil box. 
Um, I guess we can't really do that. Um, but yeah, that's it for, um, for our review. Uh, we have a few minutes left. So I think I'm going to go back to ordinal numbers because um, we seem to be unfamiliar with that. Tracking, okay, almost there. There we go. Okay, ordinal numbers. So, again, ordinal numbers show position. And um, for example, if we have this race right here, we know um, this cat, yeah, this cat placed first, the frog is second, the rabbit is third, uh, the penguin is fourth the dog is fifth, and the monkey is sixth. So these are what ordinal numbers are. So um, yeah, you can see uh, we have a bunch of people here. And so Samuel, can you tell me who is fifth? Um. B? Yes, perfect. Okay. Um, and who is ninth? Uh, Sophia, would you like to try? Who is ninth? You know what um, Y means? Uh, okay, so how ordinal numbers work is we have First, second, and third, okay? And these all show position. So, you like this. Okay, so all of these show position. So um, if we go back to our first example, we can see that the first is the cat, okay? And that's why you can see he is um, the first one to finish the race. He is uh, up, he is, uh, yeah, up ahead compared to all the other animals. And you can see that the frog is second, um, meaning he is in the second place. Um, uh, with, and then the rabbit is third and then um, and so on. So how it works is we have first, second, and third. But after that, what, what we do is we just put the number and then we add a T and an H, okay? So if this is in the fourth place, we just add a four and then TH, okay? So what ninth means is it's in the ninth position uh, just with a TH, okay? So who hold or what uh, letter is in the ninth spot? C. Um, let's see. Perfect. And yeah. Notice how if I count from this side, um, which is the right side, you would get a completely different answer. If you count from this side, um, yeah, you would get J as the answer. Um, and sorry, th this was my fault that I, I didn't clarify. But yeah, so you would, if you count from the right, said, you would get J. I said the one with the yellow hair. Yeah, yeah, G, which is the correct answer. So yeah, good job. So if you count from the right side, you would get uh, J. But if you count from the left side, um, which I'm assuming is what you did, uh, you would get G, um, which is perfectly fine because I didn't, I didn't specify um, which side to count from. Okay, so in which position is boy E? If we count from the left side, he would be 
uh, in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth position, he would be tenth. But if we count from the right side, he would be the very first one. So again, it depends on where you're counting from. Um, but since the question doesn't say which side, um, it, it doesn't really matter. It would be up to you. Okay, so now, um, okay, so now we start to have directions, okay? So we can see there is a cheetah over here and it's saying she, the cheetah is the third from the left, which is true because you have um, the lion as the first one, tiger as the second, and then the cheetah as the third, okay? And the same with the elephant. Counting from the right, we have the first, uh, which is the hippo, and then the second, which is the elephant. Okay, who is fourth from the left? Can someone answer that for me? Yes, Samuel, who is fourth from the left? The giraffe. The giraffe, perfect. Okay, and who is the sixth from the right? Uh, you, you can just unmute and shout out the answer. Uh, is, that, is anyone, does anyone want to try? Uh, yeah, Sophia. The elephant's the six. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and that concludes our lesson for ordinal numbers. Um, we have a few minutes. Um, we Wait, can what? Do... Sorry? What did you just say? Uh, we have a few minutes. Um, and we just finished our ordinal numbers lesson. Um, we, yeah. When I was in here in this class, then I come back because Sunday there was a phone. There was something calling me. So I kick it off, my grandpa fix it, and I come back here. Oh, okay. Uh, did you learn ordinal numbers? Yes. Oh, okay. Then, uh, then yeah, First, you should be fine. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Six, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, yeah. So we have a few more minutes left. Actually, well, after that, no, not really. I um, have a game for Samuel. What? What did you say? I have for Samuel. What for Sam? For me, I mean. This riddle. I can't even see it. A riddle? Yeah, this riddle. Is this, is what does it say? It's uh, this, this, is this, this one day. It doesn't oh. yeah. It doesn't say anything. It just I need to I need to I need to say Sam or something. He can guess it right. Sam, why is in this train? Why is in the scribble and scribble letters? I have no idea. Well, you don't know. Do you want to click white or or X? White or red? You want to pick green? This is this is green. This is red. Let's try green. Green, okay, you got to, you got to, you got to, this is a math question. It's a scribble, 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 eco. Oh, this is a math class one. You don't know you can click X. You don't know you can use X. Okay. I'm gonna leave. Okay. 
Uh, wait, Gordon, what does the scribble say? Scribble say another, I can tell. Okay, I can say, okay. What does seven plus zero plus seven plus three plus nine plus nine equal? I, I don't have no idea what that says. I can't even say it. Okay, fine. What does seven plus zero plus uh, seven plus three plus nine plus nine equal. Oh, that's a cool drawing, Sophia. Oh, uh, and by the way, it's 31, so you guys are free to go. Thanks for coming. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time.